Paris is the world's most romantic place and a land of gold for food lovers and fashion enthusiasts. But apart from the city's incredible lifestyle and desire for the dramatic, Paris is one of the world's major locations when it comes to diplomacy, finance, science and commerce. While Paris has a reputation for a lot of exciting things, what others don't we know? Before we get started, tap on the subscribe button to get the latest videos from Fortune Digest. Now, to the video. The Parisii, a Celtic tribe that landed on the banks of the Seine, are credited with founding Paris around 259 BC. The Romans took control of the fishermen's settlement in 52 BC, establishing Lutetia as their new capital. In the 4th century, the town adopted the name Paris. Paris became the centre of the Frankish Empire under Clovis I in 508. The Capetian dynasty rose to power in 987 and ruled until 1328. Paris gradually prospered in the 11th century due to its silver trade and strategic location for pilgrims and merchants. Paris then experienced three uprisings in the 14th century. The first was a merchant uprising led by Etienne Marcel in 1358. King Francis I moved the royal residence back to Paris in 1528. The second day of the barricades occurred in 1648 when Parisians revolted against the king as a result of the abhorrent level of poverty. After deciding to become a Catholic a decade later, Henry IV was proclaimed King of France in 1594. King Louis XVI relocated the royal residence to Versailles 15 years later. The Fronde caused poverty to spread throughout Paris. The philosophical movement known as the Enlightenment saw an explosion during this time. The Enlightenment was promoted by Montesquieu, Diderot, Rousseau and Voltaire. After Parisians stormed the Tuileries Palace in 1792, the king's constitutional rights were suspended by the National Assembly. The new parliament overthrew the monarchy, which also proclaimed the Republic. A new constitution with a directory as the executive branch was passed. The monarchists and Jacobins rejected the new constitution. The army put down all of the uprisings that occurred in Paris. However, the army was unable to put down Napoleon Bonaparte's coup d'etat on November 9, 1799, which toppled the directory and instituted the consulate, with Napoleon serving as first consul. Napoleon expanded the Place du Carrousel during the course of the next 15 years. He also constructed two Arc de Triomphe, a column, various markets, the Paris Stock Exchange and a few slaughterhouses. After the Seventh Coalition defeated Napoleon in the Battle of Waterloo and the agreement of the Second Treaty of Paris in 1815, the Napoleonic Wars and the Empire of Napoleon ended on November 20th, 1815. A few years later, the city would be hosting the World's Fair in 1889 and it had to be grand. The idea was to build a monumental venue and from many proposed plans, the idea for the Eiffel Tower by Gustave Eiffel was selected. When construction began in 1887, many of the educated class of the city stood against a select group, even sending a formal protest against the construction of the Eiffel Tower, claiming that it would destroy the city's beautiful skyline. Made with 7,500 tons of iron and over 2.5 million rivets, the monstrous structure now dominates the city's skyline, bringing over 7 million visitors each year and over 300 since it opened. Today, the tower is the most visited tourist destination in the city and the country. One thing most people don't know about the Eiffel is that it was commissioned to exist for only 20 years and would be pulled down once it reached. But due to its tremendous success and how well integrated it had become with the French people, the decision was made to keep it alive. Part of the reason for bringing it down was that it couldn't stand for long and that it would eventually become a disaster. But as clever a man as Gustave Eiffel was, he was smart enough to put a bunch of radio antennas and wireless communication towers, which helped convince the government and the city officials that the building was still relevant after all. The Eiffel draws the most visitors, but the city has a lot more historic, fun and bluntly interesting places to see. The Roman Catholic Church Notre Dame de Paris, often known as Notre Dame, is located on the eastern side of the Ile de la Cité 
and is one of Paris's most iconic sites. It is often referred to as one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture in France and throughout Europe. The beautiful cathedral, whose construction began in 1163 and was completed in 1345, has various sculptures and gargoyles that adorn the roof. Before climbing the 380 steps to the top of the towers, we advise that you first take a tour of the church. Although the climb to the top of the towers can be challenging, the view from there and a close-up look at the renowned gargoyles are the rewards. The Louvre is the world's most popular art museum. With a total floor space of around 210,000 square meters, including 60,000 square meters for exhibitions, the historic building, a former royal palace, is situated in the center of Paris. Philip II constructed the Louvre, where the museum is now as a stronghold in the late 12th century. In the museum's basement, you can observe the fortress's ruins. Napoleon asked Jean Chalgrin to create a triumphal arch honoring the valor of the imperial forces after falling under the spell of classical Roman architecture. It is the world's biggest monument of its sort and was built in the 19th century. Its pillars are adorned with striking sculptures. Additionally, the top of the arc is inscribed with the names of 558 generals and notable victories. The French unknown soldier's tomb could be found beneath the Arc de Triomphe. A lovely view of Paris may be seen from the rooftop patio located over the door. The Arc de Triomphe, which is known as the most beautiful avenue in the world, is situated on the Place de l'Etoile and is 50 meters high, 45 meters wide, and 22 meters deep. It is located 1.9 kilometers from the Arc de Triomphe to the Place de la Concorde. Numerous upscale retailers like Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Guerlain, and Montblanc are present, as well as entertainment hubs like Lido and movie theaters, renowned cafes, and eateries like Fouquet's. The largest second-story windows that emerge through the cornice and rise over the eaves are one of the most recognizable features of many French buildings. These windows are frequently arched at the top. Particularly noteworthy are the instances of French provincial architecture in America with this peculiar window shape. Gothic architecture is French design. Prior to the Renaissance, the phrase was known as opus francigenum, which translates to French work. Historical divisions of Gothic architecture include Early Gothic, High Gothic, Rayonnant, and Late or Flamboyant styles. While the architecture in Paris is beautiful and endearing to watch, the city has a lot more than its history of buildings. We bet you remember this museum because we've already mentioned it, but we did not tell you that it is the foremost museum in the world preferred by many tourists. Do you plan on seeing the Mona Lisa while you're in Paris? The Louvre is now the most visited museum in the world, receiving 9 million visitors annually. Fortunately, if you join a fast-track guided tour, you won't have to worry about lengthy queues. So don't worry if you won't be visiting Paris anytime soon. Instead, take your time and enjoy the view. The Mona Lisa is well protected, sitting behind bulletproof glass in its own climate-controlled room to guarantee that tourists can get a look for years to come. What was previously the world's cutest bridge is no longer like before. 2015 saw the start of Paris's replacement of the well-known love locks from the Pont des Arts, with lovely graffiti bearing messages of love and hope. The one million locks, which weighed more than 45 tons, had to be removed to prevent structural damage. Modern and Art Deco decorations have also been used to redecorate the bridge. It's still a lovely sight, but be prepared if you plan to visit. Paris is undoubtedly the place to be if you like to roam around. You'll probably find it surprising that there are no stop signs here. According to city traffic regulations, right-side moving vehicles always have the right of way at intersections. But why stay on the main thoroughfares when you can explore the hidden back streets? You may still experience the city at your own pace with an electric bike tour lasting only half a day. This one is for people who enjoy all things macabre. Unfortunately, most visitors are unaware of a mysterious world that exists well below the streets. The catacombs stretch for an astounding 322 kilometers and were once utilized as a cemetery in the 18th century. 
However, you'll need to have a sturdy constitution, because the Empire of Death is covered head to toe in bones and skulls. Paris is estimated to host 33 million tourists from France and the rest of the world. The city is the prime destination for most people, and it's probably your dream destination. Which of the interesting facts surprised you? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.